Yeah. Well, sometimes it's positive. Uh, most of the time it's positive, but it, the most important thing is it's AB. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Um, has anyone ever had the same blood type of AB? Yeah, it's, it's in a lot of Jewish people. 12% of Jewish people have type AB blood. There you go. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's more common in the Mediterranean area, um, but, but, it, but it's rare. It's rare. But that's not only in Jewish, but in 12% of Jewish people have it. But it's very rare. It's the rarest blood type. Great question. Yes. Yeah. I mentioned people punching the shroud where it had a lot of miracles of healing with it. Since it's, you know, if you touch the blood of Christ. Yeah, there's stories of that. Just like, just like touching uh, 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 Jesus when he was alive and touching uh, Peter's. Uh, yeah, so it's same. But it, yeah, there's lots of stories. Well, again, you know, those are, there's no way to validate those. I mean, so, um, yeah, but yeah. Great questions. But as you know, to become a saint, you have to have two miracles validated after you die, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yes. The picture on this, yes. So the, the Roman coin, the, the coins are in those, in those days, they would place Roman coins, they would place uh, coins over your eyes. It was to cover the eyes. It was to, you know, just like they put the face cloth over, to hide it from, from people, basically to make, they just, they did that, that was standard fare for, for, ex, for, for people as they died. They put coins on their eyes, and it so happens his happened to be, uh, uh, Roman leptons from uh, Pontius Pilate, 80, minute in 8029. Do you have a YouTube uh, link about your talk or the, or the DVD? Do not, there is, uh, we're working on that. But there is, um, again, if you go to, to Father Spitzer's sites on uh, Maja Center, and there's wonderful embedded videos in there with some of the elements that I was talking about. Um, in there on the credible Catholic. Let somebody tell me. So yes, yeah. it's my it's my nephew. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna post it. Yes, okay. yeah. What is the other website that you The credible Catholic and Maja Center, M A G I S Center. Credible Catholic, like it's spelled. Great questions. I don't want to leave anyone unanswered. I had lots of questions. Yes. Mainly by ropes, mainly by ropes. So he was an unusual crucifixion. He was very unusual. The scourging was unusual. Uh, the crown of thorns was unusual. They didn't, they didn't, you know, there's the only one that we know of that they did the crown of thorns for. And in fact, you know, in AD 70, when the Romans destroyed Jerusalem, they crucified two million Jewish people. Two million. Yes. When Jesus said, yeah, yeah, this generation will not pass, he was serious. They crucified two million. What's also interesting, and, and again, mainly with ropes, because again, they didn't want to use up all their nails. Uh, what's interesting, too, is that um, they, uh, they, uh, um, they always, uh, they wanted it to be this, you know, symbol of horrific death. And again, Jesus transformed it into the glory of God, and, and see, he's defeating death. And remember when we started this talk, we talked about people are afraid of death. He defeated death, and we have, re we have evidence of the res resurrection. So that's really what, that's what this purpose was. That's what was the purpose of that. So not only sin, we, we emphasize sin a lot, which is, yes, that's part of it, but also defeating death and showing it by resurrection. The same reason that Mary was assumed, so that, you know, we know that we'll follow, you know, that, you know, we'll, our bodies will return to us at the end of days. So that's why it's there. And that's why he came as a human, so that we could show us this evidence. It was all planned from the very beginning. <laughs> and, and, and we're seeing evidence. That's how much he loves us. And that's, and that's why this evidence is coming out now. I mean, a lot of this stuff I was talking to you about is after the year 2000. 
It's amazing how much more information, and yet, have you heard any of this? No. no. That, that's what yeah. <clears throat> you don't hear it. You go to Dr. Google and they tell you 720. <laughs> so. It does make the news. No. Yeah. Great questions. That's why you need to have a YouTube. <laughs> you need to get the word. Yeah, we, we, need, we need to do more of these, you know, because again, you know, going through it all really helps. Doing things more live, actually, because then you have a chance to interact. That's why I do this, you know, with, with uh, colleges and high schools, because we, we got it. We've got to show the youth the truth. You know, 40% are becoming atheists. And yet what's happening is most, more physicists are becoming theists because the evidence is so overwhelming that if God created the universe, he then all created the natural laws and all that as well. It'll all point back to God. The truth will always point back to God. Yeah. The pictures you were showing of Jesus, um, the artwork, yeah. were they taken from the shroud, the picture from the shroud? Or they are using the shroud as a, as, as, as like a live person to, to paint or do the icon from, like those coins and the icons and the frescoes and the paintings. They're looking at the shroud and they're sketching and then they go paint or they make, that's, what that, that's how that happened, yeah. yeah. How are the young people responding to your talk? They love it. That's why we're here, yeah, that's why, that's why we're here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, they, because they, they, the young, people yearn, people yearn for the truth. <laughs> people yearn for the truth, and when they hear the truth, they know it. Yeah. Final question, so nobody asked after me. Yeah. Why, why did you start with the, uh, uh, the rate of suicide, and how did you link that to yes. this? I, I missed that. Is that, uh, this, again, uh, that's how, that's how the Holy Spirit has a sense of humor. I was noticing in the emergency department that I was seeing more and more kids with suicide attempts and behavioral disorders, anxiety, depression, drug use. And, and I thought, you know, in the third grade, they're all like happy-go-lucky kids. What's going on? And, and then I also noted people like freaked about death. I mean, they're literally people that go in the ER every day, I'm going to have a heart attack. Well, you know, go exercise, you know, coming to the ER, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to necessarily be able to save you, you know, and, and again, we all die. And in the first century, in the first couple of centuries, uh, when we were severely persecuted by the Romans, people would sing on their way to be martyred because they knew there was an afterlife. We have lost that. That's why this happened, and I prayed to God that help me get in front of this, because by the time I see him in the ER, it's too late. Help me get in front, and again, has a sense of humor. I'll show you, <laughs> so be careful what you ask for. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what happens. This, that's what happens. They get depressed. There is no, so yeah, I, I get it. I mean, just, the, just as Paul says, if there is no afterlife, we're fools. Then why not go out there and party and do whatever you want? Because, yeah, you just go to dust and nothing happens. And that's the lie that we tell our kids. And, and we have to counter that lie. There is, there is life. We have evidence of it. You, you can. There is life. And, and again, as one person said, you know, so uh, if, if there really is a life after earth, Let's say you live 50 years or 100 years. 50 or 100 or even 200 years divided by infinity is zero. So your life is zero here. All your life is after this life. Did you do my homily tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Doctor, Frank, I know everybody has a question and um, we just want to... Yeah, and I'll stay, I'll stay behind and answer more yeah, questions if you that, have. That yeah, would be yeah, great. yeah. We no, thanks. Thank you. I think uh, you. Thank you. Great question. I think you're given uh, the, the time and the effort and the energy to do that. That's a miracle to me. Well, thanks. We thanks. Wanna present you, I want to present you with this book. It's about the Maronite Church. Oh, great. Thanks. The Maronite history and constants. Maybe you'll find something there. About yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> There will be yet another connection, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes, thanks. Vera, I think, or Vera found, uh, wanted to give you this icon. Oh, wow. The Lady of Ivor. 
I never heard of Ivers. Oh. So they said that it originated from St. Luke the Evangelist. And it's a it's a picture, it's an image mm. that we've never really seen before. I've never seen it. Yeah. And I was looking for Our Lady of Perpetual Help. But then wow. I found this and I oh, love wow. the story behind Thanks it. Thanks so much. It's Thanks so much. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, let me know, but yeah, thanks. Thanks so much. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Youth group too. Yeah. So thanks. thanks. You guys have been a wonderful audience. I'm more than happy to come back thank again. Thank you for coming. And, uh, God yeah, bless thanks. You. Yeah, thank you.